It's I Do Notes episode 107, Lotus Connections 3.0.1, and the new features and my impressions. Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 107 of I Do Notes, and this time I want to take a little walk through the new Connections 301, my impressions of the first time I jumped into it, as well as some of the new features that are out there. So we're going to go ahead and go to actual screencasts and take a look at the 301 launch inside of Lotus Greenhouse. For those not familiar, it's greenhouse.lotus.com. So let's zoom on in there and take a look. If you come in now, you're going to notice there is a new getting started page. And this is where you'll jump in and actually have a welcome screen that you can push out to your users as well as uh, to yourself if you want to learn about the new features as well as how to get started with connections if you've never been in before. So if you take a look, Starts out with a simple area up on the upper right side. Of course, at any point, you could always say, do not show this screen at start. So you can get rid of that if you need to. But the welcome part itself, three options. The share gives you a list. And I was thinking these maybe launch a tab or take you to those features. But they really don't do that. If you click one of them, we'll look at find people to connect with. It's going to say go over to profiles and actually go to profiles, which was interesting. No samples. Same with uh, links, says bookmarks. So we say explore. It gives us pretty much the same list again in the reverse order with a video on the right to help you out. So if I click blogs, it's back to blogs. If I click bookmarks, back to bookmarks. No change there. There's an updates tab. On the updates tab, what you're going to get is recent status updates first by default. Uh, Craig's been very busy today. You have your news feed now, and apparently Craig's been adding everybody all afternoon (laughs) across the board. He's a IBM employee, but this is the feed of content from people you're following and then notifications, people that want you to join into their network or uh, sharing information with you or get you on different things like that. So this goes far back as as much data as you have in the notifications. Discover is public updates from across IBM connections. Keep that in mind. You discover what others are doing all across connections that they have made public. This is a big difference and a big deal. Saved or updates you have saved. I don't have any yet because I'm not in here enough. Widgets I found very interesting. This is the default. You're going to get your profiles and activities and bookmarks and communities. And of course, the blogs that are out there, the latest entries. You can drag and drop and move them around. But I like the customized feature. This is new with some of the new widgets that are going to be out there. You'll notice we're going to add a couple. Uh, let's add the Facebook, Google Gadget, the uh, Flickr. We'll add Idea Jam. And we'll ignore MySpace. I'm. It's kind of funny it's there, but we'll, we'll ignore MySpace. You can go down through the other sorts. I was in the all, so this is this is just segregating them into smaller areas, but I was in the all. If we scroll down, you'll see there's an area below called other. And this is where the Facebook and the others go. So I've added those into the bottom, so we can change the layout to two or three columns. If you do it to three, it doesn't auto resize for you. As you see, it just keeps everything crammed in the two. We'll close it, and here we go. Let's drag and drop and move these around. We'll put Flickr up there. Uh, we'll move, let's see, yeah, 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 activities, maybe I want to see those right away, Idea Jam, I want to see some voting going on, oh, Facebook, of course, I got to keep up with my friends, profiles are always important, and then blogs, we'll put them over there just to move things around, so you can drag and drop as you see and do what you want to do, and profiles are more important probably than voting. Now, what I found interesting about this, looking at them, is they're taking the actual Google gadgets, and you're going to notice it's very thin. Uh, the Flickr one in particular you're looking at, you can't see the whole right side of it. There's no way to scroll, no way to move it. Um, I'm not liking that. Let's search for uh, B-Lug, where I was last week. So there's pictures from B-Lug last week, some from Warren, some from myself. Uh, but you're missing the whole right side a little bit. So we'll scroll down and grab one from me. There's a keynote. Click it, and like I said, I'm not able to see the right side. So that's a Google gadget. It's a self-sized Um, As you can see, just by default, that would throw a lot of users off. They want to use it. You can do the same with Facebook if you want to connect. And then Idea Jam. So uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, actually. Idea Jam we'll come back to. So let's jump on over and look at what they made was a new Connections 301 Features community. And this community itself shows off some of the new things that are in there. There's a couple new areas that they created that are launched with it. Uh, One of which is the voting capabilities. You can actually click to vote for an idea. Then there's a graduated, which they don't show you how something graduates, but there is a view for graduated ideas. So you can see what did graduate. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of how I graduate something. Maybe only the author of it can do it. I can sort the votes, as you can see. Oh, they're both three. Let's make one four. Now let's resort. There we go. So you can actually sort by order order of votes. 
no big deal there. Uh, you can also take away your vote. If you click, you'll get a message, do you want to remove your vote? Yes and no. One thing that's uh, not there is the ability to vote something down. So I guess they want to remove the negativity approach, but there's no way to vote it down. Uh, you can make other features on these, such as comments and stuff. So we'll go back to the overview. There we go. So you have the uh, ideation blog, the activities, everything that's in there. You can see the graduated ones right there on the front page. Uh, you can sort then again. You can show a little bit of an explanation about what it's about. Sort of a small excerpt if you want to look at it that way. So we'll look at that. Then next up is the media gallery over on the right side. Uh, videos, images, and others. We'll, we'll pick one here. Let's go to the uh, Zeus planning. So we'll click that and go into Zeus planning. What you'll get now is basically where the file was attached. Um, you can download the file. You can actually see some information about the file itself when it was uploaded, how big it is, how many times it's been downloaded, and if any custom properties exist. Uh, there's none for this one. Otherwise, you can flag it as inappropriate, but that's pretty much all you can do inside of this, as you can tell. Um, I'm not seeing any other features that you're going to be able to do. You can recommend it to your colleagues, so we'll go back. Let's look at one of the videos. Now, if you click one in the middle, we see it has two comments. We'll click this. It'll bring a pop-up preview, but I want to look at the whole posting itself. So I'm going to go to the summary at the bottom. When that comes up, you see how big the file is, uh, how big it is, including the versions and thumbnails. You could download it. Same thing. There's comments. Uh, you can see the number of comments. You can also flag comments as inappropriate, not just the post itself. So let's flag one as inappropriate. Suzanne will appreciate this later on, I know. And you have to give a reason for why you did it. And we're just, uh, we don't believe the plant is real that's in the background anyway. We'll say okay, or submit, sorry. And it's there. Now, if you'll notice, I can flag it again as inappropriate, apparently, uh, or it doesn't mark it in any way at the bottom to show that I'd flag something as inappropriate, which was interesting. Uh, there's no custom properties this one. Oh, here at the top, a green bar. Your flag has been submitted, a moderator. Well, I don't know who the moderator is of this actual posting. I'm guessing it's Suzanne herself. She'll appreciate that later. And there's no way to recall your flag. Now, what I want to do is jump you guys over to Idea Jam and show you the difference between the voting. So here's Idea Jam. It's been around for years, as you know. Uh, IBM uses it extensively. You can embed it in uh, your blogs. You can do all sorts. So look, look at some recent ideas. Um, you can see these are all the ones that have recently come in. We don't see the voting numbers here, but this is their homepage. So let's pick one real quick. Let's look at the uh, Lotus Traveler. Now you'll get to see promote, demote, um, how many total, how many promotes, how many demotes, you get information, you get the comments, then you have an embed tag already built in. This is what I thought that I would see inside of here, um, inside the ideation area, is the ability to actually manipulate more. It may be coming later, but for now you can only vote up. You're not going to be able to bring things down or do other work with it. So if you need nowhere to go, it's greenhouse.lotus.com. I suggest you get an account, get it here, and test and play. And if you have questions or other information, Ring me back and let me know. Otherwise, it's another I Do Notes episode.